Every day MapleStory M players purchase crystals, packages, and meso in order to progress their characters. A common question for the player base, is this game free to play friendly? In this series I will take a fresh account and progress it to endgame. I will be applying the following rules to make this series as interesting as possible. Number 1. No spending any money on this game. All in-app purchases are off limits. Number 2. I can only equip equipment that is acquired by fusion or boss drop. If I fuse an Utgard mythic weapon, that will be my endgame weapon. It would be too easy if I purchased a godly gear from the trade station. Number 3. I can only purchase gear from the trade station to repair any broken items. There is one exception to this rule, that is a unique secondary weapon. At some point I will need this piece and will not have the crystals to pull one from a box. Rule number 4. No leeching. All leveling must be done with autoplay or manual battle. This is MapleStory Fuse to Play. Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Wings here online bringing you cutting edge content in the game of MapleStory M. I know it's been a while. I decided to drop the Never Tell Me The Odds series because I wanted to work towards a series that geared more towards the newer player base and more towards the funner aspects of MapleStory M, which I enjoy. I mean, I still enjoy Elite Dungeons, don't get me wrong, I'm still grinding them, but you know, there's not a lot of resources for free to play players and I really wanted to make a video series where I take a new account and push it as far as possible. The goal would be to get to Star Force 153 on a fresh account using no meso and all that. I've I laid out the groundwork and in this vi in this episode I'm going to be using I'm going to be starting my fresh account. I'm going to be creating a bishop because I feel that bishop is one of the, not easiest, but it's one of the best classes to play as a free to play. They buff everyone inside the party and since predominantly late game, end game and all that requires bishops because bishops give the best buffs in the game currently and MapleStory M is a game of inches and bishops give 35% bonus attack damage and who doesn't like a good HS? For those of you that don't know what HS is, it's holy symbol. It gives you an extra 10% bonus EXP and 20% after you get your hyper skill. Um, so in for today's video, I'm going to be making my bishop and I plan on starting the shade event. I'm, I have like about three days left on the shade event. I'm probably not going to finish it, but I want to get the shade to as high as possible. So that way I can at least get some bonuses going into my bishop account because the events really matter for free to play free to play characters so without further ado all right let's get into it i am about to log on to my free to play account for the very first time. And I am going to be doing it in Scania, Scania, uh, mainly because that's where my main account is at. And as you can see, it's a fresh account. And the class that I decided to do this gameplay series with is going to actually be an explorer class. And then I really hope I don't fail this. <laughs> Yeah, the class that I decided to go with is actually an explorer, and it's none of the new explorers. It's actually one of the OGs. I'm going to be going for bishop. I'll make a male bishop, because why not? And so that way you guys know it's me. I'm going to name it Wings or Bish. Hopefully that's not taken. Alright, let's begin my free-to-play experience. Level 1. Then I haven't touched a fresh account for almost a year. I played in December and here I am now. About to start the series. 
I'm gonna skip all this because all that's not really important to me. Okay. Alright, so the plan now is to just grind all the quests in order to get level 60 and hopefully that doesn't take too long. <laughs> I know I could probably do it in a day so that's what I'm hoping to hit, but we'll see. Man, that sucks that I can't skip all these tutorials. This takes a lot of time. Like I could have been done with like three quests already. Yeah, clear. What? I get the draw. Oh my gosh, they just caked this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, I got a secondary weapon already. Is it stuck? Okay, nice. So I guess I gotta kill some snails. Right now the goal is to just do the quest line until I get the I get the pets at least. But Oh my gosh, do the quest line. Come on, man. I should have some fat rewards. Nice, there's there's free pets, some auto battle. Nice, I'm gonna just claim it now. Yeah, turn in his hat. Hey, Rondo got his hat, dude. Do I get a hat from this? No, he gives me dinosaurs for some reason. Oh boy. Alright, I am level 58 now on my bishop. I did a bit of questing and the quests actually give decent rewards, they give things like powder and the rank up stones and they also give a decent amount of red meso so I am going to level up my wand to hopefully epic at least. I hope I have enough powders for this. Nice. And I chose to go with the Ellie Ghost instead of the Brizer because Brizers only give um, bonus attack damage for boss monsters and I'm not going to be seeing any boss monsters anytime soon. So I got it to rare and hopefully I have enough to get it to epic here. Yes, it's level 10, nice. Alright, do I have enough meso though? That is the question. I'm short. I'm short some vessel. Oh my goodness. Do I have any? Is this enough? No, that's not enough still. Oh my gosh. Is. None of these are like sellable, huh? Is there any events? Oh, I know. This is Big Brain Raider. None of these are mess rewards. Dang. That's just auto, that's just rewards. Hey, this this gives another two hundred. Okay, I'm gonna hit that, and that'll be enough. Oh my gosh, that that's some free to play problems. You feel me? All right, time to rank this bad boy up. I'm gonna get him to epic. Nice. Alright, let's dump the rest of my potters into this. I, I'm not sure. No, that's not enough. Yeah, I'm short a bit. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough. 
Oh, nice, the cost per unit's down here, so. There, I can get it to level 2. Alright, not bad. I have a epic one, and my attack right now is 860. So this is the end of the very first episode. Um, obviously not much going on. I'm still trying to level my bishop up through quests. Quests give a decent amount of rewards. Hopefully once I get 60 or 70 I can start unlocking more of the dailies. Obviously I need a little bit more meso in order to progress. So I need to start working on farming meso and you guys will see that in the next couple of episodes. So. I hope you guys really enjoy this video series. I've thought about it and I thought that this would be the best way to create a video series content. Um, make sure you like, give any comments down below, any tips. It's been a while since I've done the early game to mid game progression on a character. So, you know, a lot of my information is outdated. So make sure you comment that down below. Um, hit that subscribe button and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.